A hypocrite is full of hatred. His inherent cruelty and corruption spoil his body and soul. When Muslims experience something positive in their lives or achieve success or power, hypocrites get deeply upset about it. The fact that Muslims live joyful, peaceful lives in abundance and that they enjoy love and friendship is a painful fact for a hypocrite because he, on the contrary, spends his life in misery, distress, and suffering. He has chosen to be with Muslims, but he can't get his mind off being a disbeliever. Because he fell into the clutches of worldly greed, he foolishly imagines that he would have a better life if he were with the unbelievers. The fact that he can't be with them that he can't live indecently among them and that he can't exploit them brings great suffering to the hypocrite. Hatred and anger engulf his soul. Not only that, but everywhere he looks, he sees the heavenly lives of Muslims, contributing further to the hypocrite's pain, hatred, and distress. This hatred gets to a point where the hypocrite becomes unable to conceal it. His hatred, anger, and jealousy leak out and emanate from his tongue, eyes, face, and body. About this, God says in the Quran, You who have faith, do not take any outside yourselves as intimates. They will do anything to harm you. They love what causes you distress. Hatred has appeared out of their mouths, but what their breasts hide is far worse. We have made the signs clear to you if you use your intellect. Surah Al-Imran, 118 A hypocrite lives every moment of his life consumed by this anger. From the moment he wakes up to the hour he closes his eyes to sleep, his every conduct and behavior is governed by hatred and anger. The reason for this hatred is explained in the verse, If something good happens to you, it galls them. If something bad strikes you, they rejoice at it. Surah Al-Imran, 120 The fact that Muslims live in peace, joy, love, friendship, and happiness is the main reason for the hypocrite's misery. While Muslims begin their days with joy, thanking God for the blessings he has bestowed upon them, the hypocrite wakes up in misery. He is yet again amongst the people he doesn't love and with whom he shares no beliefs or ideas. He again has to pretend among the people he actually envies and hates, for whom he feels no love or friendship. Against his inclination, he will show fake love and respect for these people, and he will force himself to support their good deeds and pretend to be happy at their successes. While he lives in such misery, Muslims are experiencing the happiness of being sincere, of true friendship of love, and of living in a trusting environment with the most honest and reliable people in the world. The fact that hypocrites are aware of this painful difference leaves them spending their days in anger and depression. Their hatred and anger will drag them to suffer in the afterlife as well, as God reveals. When they meet you, they say, we have faith. But when they leave, they bite their fingers out of rage against you. Say, die in your rage. God knows what your hearts contain. Surah Al-Imran 119